What's up, Toaster Strules? Brett Bates being the video here. And today it's time for why you should play yo-yo in the talent show at school, intro, and let us go. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic full today. So today I'll be telling you guys, if you guys, this, this video I guess is more for like kids and stuff, but if you're in school right now, why well, you should participate in the talent show and play yo-yo. So I normally don't do like a lot of this kind of stuff where I just talk, but you know, I've been kind of thinking about some different things and some topics and stuff that we could probably talk about that might be really helpful. So yo-yoing in the talent show, isn't that super exciting? You know, because every year, you know, when you're in school, it's like you see, you know, maybe some of your friends or something do the talent show. Like I remember when I was in school, like you know, a lot of the girls like to do like gymnastics and stuff and like dancing and singing and stuff like that. And like some some guys like to do stuff like that too, which is pretty awesome. And it's a great opportunity to just go up in front of your friends, in front of your school, and just show them what you're good at and what you love to do. And that's really important. And I'm gonna give you give you guys some tips here today. So the first thing that I just want to kind of get out of the way is that in order to like do a performance or something like that, I don't think you have to be like super amazing at yo-yoing. I know like some of you guys might, you know, like I can't do the jade whip or I can't do a suicide or something. But just try and find something like a certain trick that you're good at and try and make something out of it. You, know, you can make up your own trick or combo or something like that. It doesn't have to be very long. Just something cool that you that you like and you think looks really good and awesome everything like that and yeah just try and pick up one certain trick like it could be double or nothing you know do a little bit of double or nothing you know if you also know how to do wrist mount you could do some of that and it doesn't even necessarily have to be like a specific trick or like you know a classic advanced trick or just kind of like a trick that everybody knows in general kind of thing you can make up your own thing so it pretty much kind of revolves around like you know, what can you do right now? Like, let's say you're good at double or nothing and jade whip. You're pretty good at jade whip. So keep practicing those and try and put more stuff around it. And the other thing with this too is that, like, you don't have to do this right away. Like, you don't feel comfortable doing it this year. You go into the talent show next year or the year after that or something like that. Whenever you feel like you're comfortable and you enjoy. And that's the thing too. Like, there's some kids that are actually, like, really good right now. Like, I, I know there's probably some kids that are way better than me. So... And maybe this might be vice versa for you, I'm not really sure. So try and make a freestyle that's around three minutes, depending how long your song is. Or maybe you might use a couple of songs. That's another thing we'll get into later as well as music. Uh, pick a song that you like. I guess we can talk about it now. Basically just pick a song that you like roughly around three minutes, maybe three and a half minutes, or even you can go for two and a half minutes if you want to. It's really up to you. And another thing too is we kind of talked earlier how I said, you don't have to do a lot of big tricks, you know, do some combos, do like some some kind of smaller things. Not, not necessarily just smaller things, but they keep the yo-yo just kind of flowing really nicely. And it's not like, not everything, everything's not as built up, right? So you can kind of do like some, some more basic tricks, smaller things, and just some combinations, which I really love to do, of course. But yeah, it doesn't just have to be a bunch of big stuff, just keep the yo-yo moving, keep it flowing, be comfortable. And I remember when I was in the talent show, say so I was in the talent show in 2013, and we had our talent show in March, so that's why I'm kind of making this video right now. I don't know exactly at your school like when it is, but I remember mine was in March. So by that time, I started yo-yoing in 2011, and I basically started practicing, really enjoyed it and everything. I'll kind of go through like a little lowdown kind of thing. And then, you know, it was a couple times where I put it down for like a month or something, didn't really play, and I picked back up, played a little bit more. And then by the time it was like 2012, I practiced a lot, you know, I was really getting into a lot of tricks and practicing, uh, putting a lot of hours into it and stuff like that. So by the time it was like 2013, I'd go into the talent show, and I was really good. You know, I felt, I felt that I was good at what I did. So what I'm trying to say is that, like, by the time I was in the talent show in my school, I felt like I was really good, but that kind of made it a little bit boring for me because... You know, at that time, I could already do Jade Whip really well and follow, and I, I would even, like, do follow and, like, intercept it with my hand and then keep doing it again and actually hit it. Like, I was, I actually practiced a lot and I was good. So, 
I think that kind of took some of the fun out of it for me because it was like, you know, it was kind of like insurance, like making sure I didn't mess up. And I didn't do a lot of like really big stuff where it was very likely for me to mess up. So, but it still went really well. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say is even if you can just do like, you don't have to do a lot of enormous big tricks really, like at all. You know, maybe like one <laughs> or something, one or two. I remember I did Yuki Slack and I did the trick and what. And I started off with my own yo-yo trick called Avalanche. That was the first thing I did in the performance. So you don't have to know a whole ton of stuff, right? And also the thing with my performance was that I, I kind of pre-planned everything, because that's kind of the way I was, was that everything had to be like planned out. At this part, I'm gonna do this trick and then that trick. And everything was you know, like perfect, right? But I don't know if that's the best strategy you know, maybe plan out a little bit of it, like the beginning, like what you're going to do first, maybe what you're going to do last, and everything in the middle, just kind of whatever you want to do. That's up to you, whatever whatever you want to kind of put into it. So, but as I was saying, like for me, I just kind of had like everything laid out. And a funny story is that actually when I was in the talent show, so the thing that kind of sucked is like we had to do our performances twice. So like once kind of before the end of school, um, like the last period in school. And then the next day we had to go in in the morning and do the first period of school, so I was in high school, right? So two times we had to do our performances. And kind of the annoying thing with that is basically you did your one performance, your first one, and then the next day you basically have to, you know, try and emulate it, right? To make it look like it did the other day. Or if you wanted to, you could do something completely different, which is what I didn't do, because I had everything already planned out the way I wanted it to be. And a funny story is actually, the day of the first performance, I was on the stage like practicing. And I had like my trick list and everything. Everything I was gonna do was like kind of folded up and it was sitting on a chair, like like on the stage, it was just sitting on a chair where everyone could see it. And I sort of finished practicing. I finished practicing and then I left, I'm like backstage or whatever. And then like the show started and then I was like, where's my trick list? I don't know where it is. And I, you know, I just wanna refresh everything. And I was like, I left it sitting on the stage on the chair and I can't go back and get it now because everyone's gonna see me. <laughs> so I was like kind of freaking out. I was like, what am I gonna do? Oh my goodness. I'm freaking out and everything. And it's like, well, just, just forget it. You know, like I'll try and do whatever I can and just remember as much as I can. And it went really well. And I think it was actually better that way. because I wasn't stressing out about it. Like I wanted everything to look a certain way or something. You know, I was able to kind of have more flexibility and do what felt right and whatever I wanted to do. So that, that's kind of a funny story. <laughs> like I left my trick list just sitting in front of everybody. It was folded up and it was just sitting there. And another funny thing too, when I was in the talent show, um, basically when I was doing tricks, I was still so nervous. Like, you know, I knew I was good at what I did and I was super comfortable with what I was doing and I've been doing it for a little while at that point, kinda. And, you know, even when I was on stage, it was like people watching me and I was doing tricks and stuff. You know, I was doing like double or nothing. And, trapeze and stuff, my hands were like shaking so I was so nervous and I was still hitting everything pretty nicely and I was like wow and my hands are shaking and I'm trying to like hit everything and I was still able to hit everything and I didn't miss or anything like that and it was just kind of one of those funny things that I remember is I was so nervous like but I still made everything look really good and I was really happy so that's the thing is I get I get really nervous sometimes so it's not just you it happens to everybody if you're in the middle of a talent show and you start messing up tricks and stuff and you know, you're like, oh my goodness, like I'm messing up, don't panic, don't worry or anything like that. All you have to do is just slow down. You know, if you're messing up a lot and you know, you're trying to get back on track, just slow it down a bit. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to go super fast and do super big tricks and everything like that. But if you want to, you can do that. So if you just, if you just find yourself that you're starting to mess up and you're starting to get like worried or something, and just slow down, you know, like, you know what you're doing. Also another thing that's kind of cool is you can use the same tricks kind of over and over. Not too much that it's like repetitive where it's like you're always doing the same trick, but you can kind of like do one trick and then, you know, go into a couple other tricks and then do the same one and then do a couple of other things. You know what I mean? Like, don't be afraid to like reuse the same trick if you know that's one you're good at. Like. Or it could be, could be jade whip. Don't be afraid to do too many jade whips if you 
if that's a trick you love doing, then then make a freestyle around that. You know, of course, not everything is that. You know, do some other stuff too. But don't be afraid to like overuse something a little bit. If you know it's what you're good at, you're comfortable doing it. You know, and the thing as well is that you don't want to you don't want to do something you're not so comfortable with in front of a lot of people. Like, oh, like oh my goodness, if I'm not that good at, you know, popping fresh or something, then you can try and pull it off. But um, I guess I wouldn't like, if I wasn't really really comfortable with that. I wouldn't try and do it a lot to make it a point to like hit it if I knew that I might need a little bit more practice with that. So do what you're good at and do the tricks that you know you're good at and try and put a little spin on them and it'll go really well. Also another thing I want to throw in real quickly is that it's alright to mess up. You know like everyone's going to mess up eventually when, when they're yo-yoing even if they're practicing by themselves you're, you're going to mess up eventually. And even if you're in front of a bunch of people and you mess up and you get a nod or something, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, just make sure you bring some extra yo-yos and, uh, you know, re replace the yo-yo, right? And then get, get a fresh new one and then keep going. You know, don't be afraid to mess up. And, you know, and here's the thing too, like, the, the bigger the trick you do, the more likely it is that you're going to mess it up. And I think that's just the nature of yo-yoing is that, you know, you're more likely to mess up a trick that's a little bit bigger and harder to to hit, right? So, you just kind of watch out, you know, even if you mess up, you know, it's alright to go for one or two pretty big tricks, like I said. So, and just don't be afraid to mess up, you know. It's, it might happen, like, when I was in the talent show, um, I, I was pretty fortunate, I didn't mess up very much, and I still did a little bit, but don't let that kind of throw you off and, you know, worry you or anything like that. Just keep, keep going. That's really the main thing is keep going, have fun. And I think, you know, everyone that's watching you, all your, all your friends in school will be really happy to see you. Really happy to see you do what you love doing, something that you're good at doing. So I really hope that you guys, you kids out there, will be in the talent show sometime. And, you know, even like when you go on the talent show, like ask one of your friends to record you or something and then you can put online, you can share it with me or something. I'll check it out. So that'd be super awesome, or you know, just show your friends, your family, and stuff like that. That's really cool. That's really awesome, man. <laughs> I hope this video helped you out. This is like the first kind of time that like I've just started kind of rambling off things, which I don't do very often at all. So I just kind of I hope that this helped you out, and that you found something valuable in this video. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun editing this because I know there's a lot. Like I've said a lot of things, so that's pretty awesome. And. I really hope you guys have fun out there. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett Batesby. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you truly enjoyed this video. I hope I hope at least one of these things help you out. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button as well to see more videos like this probably really soon again here soon. And you know we got a lot of other videos that I think are gonna be really interesting that we're gonna be doing pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck out there. My name is Brett Batesby, and I'll see you guys again next time.